All right, well, we made it, so what's our strategy here this morning? Okay, Tom, I, I drilled a series of holes here. Yep. Uh, one to fish out of, one for the locator. Okay. Um, and what we're gonna do is, you pretty much can stay on those holes. Um, these fish travel to you. We don't have to punch several holes like we do for perch or bluegills. Okay. They're traveling this whole area with the freshwater shrimp and the perch and the small white bass around. Okay. So if we do get one one area that you're not marking anything, then we'll re-drill and move over. But for the most part, there'll be fish coming through. Okay, so work that lower foot or two feet off of the bottom and, and try to get start. the fish coming in. That's where I would start. Don't be surprised okay. if you don't see fish up 10, 12, 15 feet on your locator, though. Mm -hmm. They'll work the whole column, but that's where you want to start out is down there. Okay, if we mark one up a little higher, come, come up, up to them and try to work them. You betcha. Okay, let's get started. I'm All anxious. Right. All right, well, let's see if we get one of mine rigged up here. So I've got a, a gold ball head. That's eighth ounce. It's got a glow um, eye on it, which I thought might help in the deeper water. Try to show me your uh, yep. trick here for rigging that up. My little trick for rigging it, taking the perch and cutting the fillet and hopefully not cutting all the way through. There we go. I don't leave the tail or anything on like that. What I will do is cut it like so kind of squared up, which allows it to drop a little more even when it falls back down. Okay. And then we'll take your jig head, run it through the meat side, about center. Go a half a turn so we can push it over that bait holder. Okay. And then we turn it back after we get over the bait holder. And just kind of push it a little bit forward to hold it on over that bait holder. And then bring it through just, just so the barb is through the hide, just like that. And that'll swim Perfect. around down there just like. Perfect. That's beautiful. Okay, let's do it. If you get a couple of fish at the same time, then just the naturally competitive instincts of the fish start to work in your favor. If you can get two of them, and they're both kind of coming at the bait, and you tease them, you can usually get one to go. They want to grab that bait away from the other fish. But I'm just getting all you know, these singles coming up one at a time. I haven't had that opportunity yet. But there's certainly enough fish working around this area that that uh, could happen. And if it does, then I'm going to start getting the shakes again. Now that uh, lure's on the bottom, you can see the line's not going down anymore. And of course, they can see that on my sonar. I'm just going to reel up and just lift it up off the bottom just a little bit. Anytime I see a mark up higher, I'll always bring my bait up to that level. It's a phenomenal lake, but it can be awful frustrating when you can go from uh, one foot to 237 feet and try and figure out what's in between. I got some fish off of the bottom down. I just got to get them to come up and pop my lure once. They're coming through plenty consistently. I'd say we're seeing a fish every, you know, five to 10 minutes, which is pretty good when you're fishing lake trout. I got one on here, Tom. You got one going, Larry? Need help? Small. Oh, there you go. That's, uh, well, nothing wrong with that. Heard from. Pretty, pretty. I see, I see he's missing one eye here, too. Look at that. Um, just beautiful. That is beautiful pretty markings. Send them home. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There okay, you go. broke the ice. You started. Well. Okay. Out of the box anyhow. So. There you go. Let's go get some more. All right. Well, Larry just got one. He switched lures. He went to a chartreuse and orange bait just to do something a little different. Sometimes if you mix it up a little bit, that can make all the difference in the world. So let's go give it a shot. Sometimes just changing the bait or changing color can make a big difference. I just want to adjust the drag and make sure I'm not too tight or too loose. Again, it's just a little bit heavier action rod than I was using before, and this is a little bit longer, 32 inch rod. And I'm just doing that because I'm using a bigger lure now. And I like to balance my system. Still using a infinite anti-reverse reel, meaning that no matter where I stop this handle, it won't kick back. And that's important. Wherever I stop the bait, if I want to be at a specific depth, that reel locks in there. And when a fish bites, I can set the hook enough to worry about that handle kicking back and slipping where I might miss a fish. Hey, with this rod too, you'll notice a little bit bigger guides. They don't ice up quite as easily. 
helps on a day like this. Something way up high there, I wonder what that is. I guess it's probably a bait fish coming through up there. I'm still excited about those suspended marks after catching the big fish high, I keep thinking just maybe get another big active one cruising up way up high. I think it's gonna start turning on here in a little bit. That'll wait. It's giving her all he wants right now. How's it feel? Pretty good. There he is. Oh, Great nice. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Way to go. Way to go. That's another one. See, he got his first one here just a little bit ago. This one, yeah, a little bit bigger. Saw him come right up and just twitched it a little bit, and boom, he nailed it. So, you know, like Ken said, I think the finessing, the lighter jigging is what's really working right now. None of that aggressive hard ripping like in the early morning or late afternoon periods. Another typical big green lake trout, right around that, what, low 20 inch range. Those are just perfect eating size, lots of fun to fish for. And boy, not that far from home, there's a lot of people that live within short range of, uh, of this lake and this kind of fishing is available. It's terrific. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, well I moved over to this other hole here because we we're seeing some fish over this way. And I didn't take the time to draw a second hole next to it for the transducer cords. I had to move that up out of the way there. Got another one, Larry. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Boy, they sure stay down. They don't, it's not something that's gonna happen fast, is it? You can see them down there now. Get his head turned in the hole. There we come. There we go. All right. I don't know if that one's gonna make 17 or not. Oh yeah. Think so? Oh sure. All right. Yeah, All right. 18, 19 inch fish. Beautiful. There you go. Just that's another, a typical uh, big green lake, lake trout. I tell you what, this is really fun. We're fishing down there in 80 to 90 feet of water. So you get a lot of fight out of them. They're real aggressive. And like you say, as soon as they get below the hole, they just kind of start going crazy. Look at that. They're so pretty. And that's probably a, natural fish too there. We were just looking before, you see the some of the stocked ones are a little lighter. There he is. Congratulations. All right, thank you nice so much, fish. Larry. This has been just outstanding. I really appreciate everything. Hey, I tell you what, it's been just an outstanding day here on Big Green Lake. Um, Larry, you, everything came through just as you promised. He said you're gonna run a lot of fish between about 17 and 22 inches. Occasionally we get a bigger one. You look at what we've got here. Yeah, that's exactly it. We started out, our first one was what, about 17 and a half. Um, got a lot of them here in the 20 to 22 inch range. And then the, of course the big trophy, but what a fabulous day. Larry, I can't say thank you enough. This has just been great. I was glad to have you guys out. We had a good time out here. Fish were, uh, were very, uh, very uh, active, very pretty. Look at that, all muscle. And uh, we had fish coming through pretty much solid all day long. Had to work for them a little bit, but that's what fishing's all about. Um, and again, if anybody wants to try uh, catching some of these big green lake trout, I'd highly recommend uh, calling Larry. Um, he really knows his stuff. He put us right on top of the fish today. Um, great tips, knows exactly what to do. So it's a fabulous trip, highly recommended. And hey, I just wanna say to everybody, remember, nothing beats ice fishing.